just a little bonus video. This is April with Pacific Northwest Pen Pal. Just wanted to show you my January letters before I put them away. Not necessarily away, but I tie them all up and I put them in a nice place where I can refer to them later should I need to. So these are all of the pen pal letters envelopes I received during the month of January. I was hoping that some of these would give you guys some inspiration on how elaborate and how non-elaborate you would need to go to send out your own mail. I think it's wonderful that I have all different kinds of pen pals, long letters, short letters, postcard pals, all of them are amazing and I love them each so, so very much. And you might notice as I go through these, there are some pen pals that wrote me twice during the month of January and that is entirely possible if um, we exchange letters like early in the month because I try to reply within seven days of receiving their letter. So this one was mailed off on January 12th. I sent my reply on January 19th. So it was probably either the next day or the next couple of days before I replied back. I usually try to be super fast because I know you guys are waiting for your letter. So I try not to keep you waiting too terribly long. Um, that and I really enjoy writing. So <laughs> it's not difficult for me to sit down and write a letter a day. That's actually pretty normal for me. I enjoy hand lettering. I love writing. So it is it is not difficult for me to write at least one letter every single day. See like stamps, you guys can put stamps on your envelopes. There's so many things you can do. Beautiful sticker, washi tape, everything's in the same color. It's just, it's, yeah. I'm. This is some washi tape. I love this washi tape. Disney princess sticker. She made her own envelope. So you can do that too. This one was mailed on January 8th and I replied on the 17th. So there's probably a few days in between I got it and then mailed it back. This one, I love that sticker. No bad days, right? Stinking true. And then, actually Tiffany has her own stamp with her address inside the cat body. I know you can't tell it's a cat because I wanted to cover up her uh, return address. But, and I hadn't seen the carrot stickers. So I thought, oh, those are stinking cute because they match the paper, which are birds, cats, birds, cats, fish. So stinking cute. This one came right at the beginning of uh, January. Or no, it was the middle of January. January 15th and then I replied on the 22nd so you guys can see I try to re write on them when I replied um, this one kind of got covered up but that way I know that you know it, I was it re I received it I replied back that way if my pen pals like April I haven't seen my letter I can go back through my pile and be like oh my gosh I mailed that on the 22nd you know, you should see that soon or it might have got lost. Let me put another letter in the mail for you. This one, uh, I said that my favorite movie was Suicide Squad. So she made a specific label and I thought that was really, really sweet. So sweet. Love, love the horses. I actually have that set of stamps. Love them. Beautiful. And then one of my postcard pals right there. Loving. I'm loving the colored envelopes too. Like it's fun to go to the post office box and find different colored envelopes. This one's really pretty too. Love this one. And then the last one to top it all off right there. So I'll show you guys what I usually do. I have some twine and I will just tie these up so that they stay. I don't want them to, I, I do it pretty, pretty snug because I don't want them moving around. I don't want to lose any of the letters that are in here. So I do tend to get, do, 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 a good knot. 
and then I go under here like that and tie tie it there actually I want a knot I was gonna say do I want a knot or I want a bow I want a knot here not here and then I just have a I just cut this out of a piece of paper and I put the month on it and the year so that'll tell me what month and what year is in this stack and this is of course January 2021 so I will just loosely tie that on here and that oops hold on hold on what is happening with my fingers it's, there it is I'm like what is going on I can tie a bow I promise so that is that on that so I've got my January 21 tag I've got my January 2021 envelopes and letters in there I can refer to them back um, these are all new pen pals there's no um, previously existing pen pals in this pile those are in a different book once I get through three letters to each one of my new pen pals, we make a decision on whether we think we're compatible or not, and then we decide if we're going to keep writing one another. So this is my stack of just new pen pals I have never met before, all being introduced in January. So I still have a few more letters to go back and forth before we decide if we want to continue our friendship by mail which I think is really important to you. If you have a pen pal and you're really struggling to write to them because you don't have anything in common or you know, you just don't feel like you have that connection, please don't be afraid to tell your pen pal that hey, um, you know, maybe maybe we should try at a different time. Don't be mean about it. Just tell them, you know, I'm having I'm, you know, overwhelmed with the amount of pen pals I have, so I'm kind of scaling back a little bit. I'll reach out to you, you know, later if I think that we'd be a good match. Don't ever leave your pen pal just hanging out at the mailbox because you may be their only pen pal. You may be the only person writing them. And if you drop off the face of the planet and they don't know what happened to you, they're going to be really concerned. So be courteous. Um, I know I have so many pen pals that when I get their letter I'm like oh my gosh I cannot wait to write back like I, I shuffle everything else in my life so that I can write back to them those are the pen pals that I cherish and I love and I look forward to writing them like I'll have a story and I'll be like oh my gosh I gotta write this down on a sticky note because I want to tell them about it when I write their letter so I definitely look for a connection in my pen pals but I know a connection takes some time First introduction letter, second letter, third letter, you should have a really good idea of whether or not you want to continue writing them. So if you have, you know, any advice on that you'd like to share with other pen paler, pen palers? I don't know. Is that what we are? Pen palers? I don't know. Any other pen pal letter writers, go ahead and comment down below. I'm always looking for help to, I don't want to say break up, but you know, let our pen pals know that we won't be writing anymore. Something nice, something courteous, that they still know that they're loved. Um, I always struggle with that part of it, but I also don't want my pen pals to be like, you know what, I just dropped off the face of the planet. So I guess one of my favorite and probably best ones was I had a pen pal write me a postcard and on the back, she just said, you know, April, we're not a match. And then she left it at that. And I'm like, oh, perfect. Like at first I was like, oh no. But then I was like thankful that she did it so that I wasn't wondering why she didn't write me back. So all in all, it was a good experience. And I, and I take that with me when I write my pen pals. It's just a courtesy. And I'm rambling. All right. If you stayed through this long, thank you. I love you. Check out Patreon. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.